bread and salt as a welcome greeting ceremony in many European cultures. The tradition, known by its local Slavic names, Belarusian, Bulgarian, Macedonian, Croatian, Kruisol, Serbian, Polish, Klebisol, Slovak, Klebisol, Czech, CHLE acute BASOL, Slovene, Kruinsol, Russian, Ukrainian, was also adopted by three non Slavic nations Lithuanians, Latvians, and Romanians, all three of which are culturally and historically close to their Slavic neighbors. It is also common in Armenia. When important, respected, or admired guests arrive, they are presented with a loaf of bread placed on a rushnik. A salt holder or a salt seller is placed on top of the bread loaf or secured in a hole on the top of the loaf. In modern Russia, on official occasions, the bread and salt is presented by young women dressed in national costumes. When this tradition is observed in space flight, appropriately small packages of bread and salt are used. Cultural Associations Bulgaria bread and salt is a traditional Bulgarian custom expressing hospitality, showing that the guest is welcomed. The bread and salt is commonly presented to guests by a woman. Bulgarians usually make a certain type of bread for this occasion called pogachar, which is flat, fancy, and decorated. Regular bread is not usually used, although it may have been historically, but pogachar is much more common in this custom. Usually, guests are presented with the pogachar, and the guest is supposed to take a small piece, dip into the salt and eat it. This custom is common for official visits regardless of whether the guest is foreign or Bulgarian. One notable example of this custom is when the Russians came to liberate Bulgaria from the Ottomans at the end of the 19th century. A common scene from that period was of a Bulgarian village woman welcoming Russian soldiers with bread and salt as a sign of gratitude. Czech Republic and Slovakia This tradition is still practiced in the Czech Republic and Slovakia for special occasions, for example, when presidents from other countries are visiting. It is not commonly practiced during daily life. Russia The tradition gave rise to the Russian word that expresses a person's hospitality. Klebozolny. In general, the word bread is associated in Russian culture with hospitality, bread being the most respected food, whereas salt is associated with long friendship, as expressed in a Russian saying, to eat a pood of salt. Also historically the Russian Empire had a high salt tax that made salt a very expensive and prized commodity. There also is a traditional Russian greeting, Kleb da Sol. The phrase is to be uttered by an arriving guest as an expression of good wish towards the host's household. It was often used by beggars as an implicit hint to be fed, therefore a mocking rhymed response is known. Kleb da Sol, Yem da Svoy. With the advent of the Soviet space program, this tradition has spread into space. It was observed at the Apollo Soyuz project, when crackers and salt tablets were used in the spaceship. Bread chunks and salt were a welcome at the Mir space station, a tradition that was extended on the International Space Station. Bread and salt are also a welcome for cosmonauts returning to Earth. In the Russian Orthodox Church, it is customary to greet the bishop at the steps of the church when he arrives for a pastoral visit to a church or monastery with bread and salt. Poland in Poland, welcoming with bread and salt is often associated with the traditional hospitality of the Polish nobility, who prided themselves on their hospitality. A 17th-century Polish poet, Wespasian Koszowski, wrote in 1674, Oh good bread, when it is given to guests with salt and goodwill. Another poet who mentioned the custom was Václav Potocki. The custom was, however, not limited to the nobility, as Polish people of all classes observed this tradition, reflected in old Polish proverbs. Nowadays, the tradition is mainly observed on wedding days. When newlyweds are greeted with bread and salt by their parents on returning from the church wedding, Republic of Macedonia In the Republic of Macedonia, this tradition still is practiced occasionally as a custom expressing hospitality.
a certain type of bread, similar to that in Bulgaria and also by the same name of pogaka is prepared. As in Bulgaria it is common to prepare pogaka at Christmas where, as part of the dinner, homemade bread with a coin hidden in it is served. The famous Macedonian and ex-Yugoslav ethno-jazz rock group of even more famous world music guitarist, Vlatko Stefanovsky, had the name Lebi Sol, which means bread and salt, and speaks itself about this term of hospitality as something basic and traditional. Romania as in Slavic countries, bread and salt is even a traditional Romanian custom expressing hospitality, showing that the guest is welcomed. Finland, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania In Finland, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, bread and salt were traditionally given as a symbol of blessing for a new home. Instead of white bread, dark fiber-rich rye bread was used. Germany bread and salt are given away for different reasons. To the wedding for a lasting alliance between spouses. To move into a house to wish sedentary, prosperity and fertility. In northern Germany and Bohemia bread and salt are traditionally put into the diaper of a newborn. In Transylvania bread and salt are served to protect against weather demons. Arab culture Arab culture also have a concept of bread and salt, but not in the context of welcoming, but as an expression of alliance by eating together, symbolizing the rapprochement between two persons. Eating bread and salt with a friend is considered to create a moral obligation which requires gratitude. Jewish culture The practice exists also among Jews in the diaspora and in Israel. The ceremony of Kiddush includes dipping a piece of challah in salt. Bread and salt are also used in welcoming ceremonies and given to the welcomed persons. It is common in Israel for a landlord or real estate agent to leave bread and salt in the home to welcome new tenants, as these should be the first things brought into a new home. It is an important part of the culture. It is given on all good occasions, during weddings, housewarming parties, and childbirth. Iranian culture In the Iranian culture when a guest is hospitalized, it's said that they have eaten bread and salt. And this leads to loyalty of the guest. In fiction, the custom of serving bread and salt to guests is a recurring reference in Georgia. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire novels, where the welcome ritual serves as not only as a Westeros a tradition of hospitality but also a formal assurance of guest right. A sacred bond of trust and honor guaranteeing that nobody in attendance, hosts and guests alike, shall be harmed. Violating the guest right is widely considered the highest moral crime, an affront worthy of the worst damnation. Rudyard Kipling referenced bread and salt in a number of works. In the Ballad of East and West, leavened bread and salt is mentioned as binding an oath of blood brothership. At the beginning of Puck of Pook's Hill, Puck establishes his credentials with the child protagonists by asking them to sprinkle plenty of salt on their shared meal. That'll show you the sort of person I am, in Rosemary Sutcliffe's historical novel Outcast. Bread and salt is referred to as a sign of belonging to a tribe. You are my people, my own people, by hearth fire and bread and salt. Bibliography. R. E. F. Smith. David Christian. Bread and salt. A social and economic history of food and drink in Russia. ISBN 0-521-25812-X.